welcome back to Chemquist TV. Today we are, we are going to focus on balancing of chemical reaction using the algebraic automator. So this will be one of the topics so a lot of students have been asking me to create video on. So I want to use this video to dissect this aspect to you. How you can what easily work balance any chemical what equation at all. But the method I'm going to use is not the regular method you already know in your secondary school. I'm going to use another method which is called the algebraic what method. Uh, so many of you are actually what I love this method. Now, the method you already know is called the special method. It's called try and error what method. Try and error method, you only use that to balance simple what chemical what equation. But when it starts get complex, you cannot use that method. So that's why you want to what, shift your mind to what to the what algebraic what method. So in this video, I want to walk you step by step on like I want easily what use the algebraic method to what, balance what chemical equation. So we have to balance three different reaction in this video here so that the main reason why i want to use this three uh three uh uh, uh equation here so are you able to work, know how to work, balance simple one to what the complex one so now what i would advise to do is that by the end of this class or by by finish by the time you finish watching, watching this video here you need, you need to work, go check out other what chemical reaction to what to balance so now let's get into it here so you want to go pay attention so we, I'll be giving you what step by step as we move on. So the first one we want to balance is what H two plus what O to give what H two O. I know that you can use your normal special method to what to balance this reaction here. Yeah, do you understand? But I will show you is the other what method, which is called the algebraic what method. Do you understand? At first, the algebraic method may look so confusing and so like it's too, it's too. Um, much or uh, it's too long but i bet you was master this method now every month is there for you so that is why you want to stick to the end of this video so that the first step in what using the algebraic method now the first step in using the algebraic method to balance chemical reaction chemical reaction is to what assign alphabet to all the species both product and what and the reactants i did so that was step one step one means what assign alphabet to what all the species you can do that so you can start from a b c this was small letter or uh yeah yeah small letter cases in your son so so if you should assign alphabet to all the species you're going to be what a h two plus what b o two then what c h two o so that is what the first step assign alphabet to what all the species body point and what and the what reactants now let me go to step two. Step two. Now step two is to what write equation for each of the elements. Now this chemical this chemical equation here contains only two elements, hydrogen and what and oxygen. So you have hydrogen and what and oxygen. Now let's write what let's write let's write chemical equation for them. Now let's write equation for them. I get now let's have with hydrogen. Here we have hydrogen here, right? How many hydrogen do we have here? You have, to have one, you have, to have two hydrogen, right? And you have, have the question, which is A. So it will be two times A, which is what? Two what A. Can you see that? Now, here we don't have any hydrogen. Okay? So we move forward to the what? To the, to the what? Product side. Here we have the reactant. Now move forward to the product side. Now going to be equal to. Now, how many hydrogen do you have here? You have, to have two hydrogen. And here we have this, the coefficient is what is C. So two times C is what is two C. Then you are done with what you are done with what? writing equation for what for, for the first element what the hydrogen, right? The next one is what the next one is what oxygen. So here we have oxygen. How many oxygen do you have here? Here we have two oxygen. Two times b is what is two what b equals two. Now how many oxygen do you have here? One. One times c is what is what c. Can you see that? So that was step one. So that was step two. Step one is what assign alphabet to what all the species. Step two is what write equation for what each of the what element. Do you understand? Now step three, step three. First thing you want to do here is to equate your first alphabet to one or your first unknown to what one. My first unknown here is what is a. So I will equate to what to one. Let so you now say let a, let a, let a equals to what one. Do you understand? Let a equals to one. Now remember you are looking for Three alphabet. You are looking for what A, B, and what C. Now the main reason why you put A to be one is because because which once you get A to be one, you can even solve for the one 
for what C and P. So now, if you equate A to B1, the, the, the next thing you want to solve for is what is B and, and C. So how do you get B and C? Remember, here we have 2A equals what C, 2C. And here we have 2B equals what C. Now, out of B and C, which one can we easily what solve for? Now, you can see that C is related to, to A, right? Because C is related to A, I can easily what solve for what for my C. Right there. So I would just say 2A equals what? 2C. You find that um, if, I, if, I, if I should impute 2 here, it's going to be what? 2, 1 equals what? 2C. Making C the solve from here, it's going to be C equals what? 1. You understand? C equals what? 1. Because 2 times 1 is what? It's 2. Divide both by 2. It's enough for you to get C, get 1, right? Now, since I've got to work my C, I can even go solve what my B, right? So now I say what? 2B equals to what C. This is that. Now my C is already equal to what 1A, right? So for me to get B, I want to replace C to be what 1. So it will be 2B equals to what 1. Can you see that? Make it be the solvent of formula here. Yeah, yeah, you, what you have? B equals to what 1 or what 2. So it means that. I've got to work my 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 what on, on my unknown. So A equals to what one, B equals to what B equals to what one about two, then C equals to what one. Do you see that? That go that go to be a step three. Step three is to is to, is to equate A to the one or the system to the one, then solve for the what other ones. You get that what it that then the next one to do here is to what substitute what your calculator unknown into what into the equation. So let me write this list out. So next you want to do is please pay close attention. You remember, you have, have A, B, and C, right? So my A is what? My A is 1. My B is what? 1 about 2. My C is what is 1, right? So next what to do is to impute them inside. So if you impute this one here, so that would be H2 plus half O2. Give you what? Uh, H2O. Do you understand? Now, yeah, uh, no, although this, this is a balanced equation, but we don't want to live like this. We don't want to have fraction. Right there. The next one to do now is to, to combine our fraction to linear. And how do you convert fraction to linear? In mathematics, to convert fraction to linear, you must multiply by what? By the LCM. And the LCM here is what is 2. So I'll multiply 2 by 2. Multiply. Multiply 2 by what? By 2. So if you multiply 2 by 2, you have 2 times 1 is what? 2H2 plus 2 times half. 2 times half. 2 going to 2, right? So what, what I have left is what is 1. Here we have O. 2 right 2 times 1 here, here we have a 2 h 2 o do you get that so now let me check if the word equation is balanced here we have 4 hydrogen 4 hydrogen 2 oxygen 2 oxygen just because this is your technique so it is, it is what is balanced now i know that at first you, you ask yourself can we why am i going to use this thing exam when i know that the exam is uh computer based and there's no time why will i be going through this method now if you're Normal special method will be able to what make to balance that stuff in your exam. You go to what your special what method because now in the exam you, you make use of any method you know that is more easier for you. Do you get that? So that is it. So, but I'm showing you this method for you to be able to understand that outside of, outside of your special method, there are other what methods you can what make use of. Yet, but I don't like seeing that other method because it's not feasible because that's. There are so many things. It's called trial and error method. You have to, you have to be doing trial and error. You have to be using method that you know that is more accurate and straight to the point, and you can use the word balance any equation at all. Do you get that? So let me move to what the next. So let me carry what next one. Okay, so so let's look at this one here. So this one is a little bit complex than the other one here. Now, if you try to if you try to use the special method to balance this reaction here, it will give you a little tough time. Do you understand? 
because you are you are using tier and error method. So that's why you want to work master with the algebraic method. So now, what is the first step in in balancing algebraic method? Leave at the comment section. I want to hear now. I said leave at, leave, leave at there's a reason why I said she was leave at the comment section because I want to see if you actually want to follow the, the first one. What is the first step? What I say is the first step of balancing typical equation. So leave at the comment section. Leave at the comment section. I did. So the first step in what balancing chemical equation is what assign alphabet to all the species. Just um, assign alphabet to all the species, both product and, and the reactants. So you so you have A, B, and C. I like that, I like that from A, B, and C. But you can use X, Y, and Z. Just uh, depending on the one that is convenient for you. But I love using A, B, and C. So my first step is to assign alphabet to what A, A, A plus what B, O, two, then C. A, A, two, O, three. That is what the first step, right? That is what the first step, step one. Now, what is step two? Step two says you want what? Uh, step two says you want to write equation for each of the elements. How many elements do we have here? Here we have two elements, aluminum and what? And oxygen. So, aluminum and what? And oxygen. Do you understand? Aluminum and what? And oxygen. So, how many aluminum do we have here? Here we have one aluminum. So, what would be? Uh, a because one time says what is a equals to here. How many aluminum do you have here? Yeah, we have two atom of aluminum. Two times C is what? Two what? C. The next is what is oxygen. How many oxygen do you have here? Yeah, we have two. Two times B is what is two B equals two. Now, how many oxygen do you have here? Yeah, we have three oxygen here. Yeah. I get three what oxygen. So three times C is what? Three what? C. That what? That what the first step. You just um, now the next step is so what? Equates a to be what one just that because you have three different three different unknown a b and what and c so what we want to do here so equate what the first one to be what one so let can I say let let a equals what one now if my a is equal to one now out of b and c which can I really solve I can really what get what my c because I already know what what, what my a right there so I'm not say what a equals what two c make it c the sum of the formula right there if you should make c the sum of the formula you have c equals to what a over what a over what two right my a is a my a is already equal to what my a is already equal to what one so it's going to be one over what two so by c is equal to what one over what two can you see that by c is equal to what one over what two so my A is equal to one, my C is equal to one over two. The next is what is B. How do I solve for B? Now remember, B, yeah, now to solve for B, I want to use two B equals to what three C, right? So I'm going to be two B equals to what three what C. It's okay. Now, what is my C? My C is what one over two, right? So I'm going to be two B equals to what three times one over what two. So if you check very well, I'm going to be Two B equals to what three over what three over what two. I did so when you cross multiply, what will happen here? It's going to be two uh, two B times two equals to what three, right? Because when you cross multiply here, so it's going to be four B equals to what three, right? Make it be the subject of formula. What do you have? So it's going to be B equals to what three over what four. That is three over what four. So it means that I've got to what my uh, A1, B, B equals to 3 over 4, then C is what? C is what? 1 over what? 2. 1 over what? 2. That is it. So the next is to what? Is to what? Imputes my values. Have my A, my A is 1. My B is what? 3 over 4. My C is what? 1 over what? 2. So let's impute it there. So here we have. A, A plus 3 over 4, O, 2. Here we have what? 1 over 2, A, A, 2, O, 3. Right? Now, we cannot live like this. Although, although it is correct, shake it very it's correct. But we can't live like this. Now, the reason why we cannot live like this is that we must change what fraction to linear. And how do we convert fraction to linear? If I multiply by what? LCM. How do you, how do you get the LCM? If I look at, look at what the denominator is. Uh, 3 over 4, and I have what? 1 over what 2. So the, the, the two denominators are 4 out 2. Look at the LCM. The LCM is what? 4. LCM is what? It's 4. 
So I will multiply 2 by the word LCM. I will now say multiply 2. Multiply 2 by what? 4. If I should multiply 2 by 4, what am I going to get? 4 times 1 here is going to be 4AL plus 4 times 4 times 3 over 4. 4 is going to 4, right? What do I have left is what is 3. So it will be a 3 o 2, right? Now, 4 times half. 4 times 1 over 2. Yeah, how about 2? So it will be 2 a l 2 o 3. That is it. That is it. So if you check with the very way, you find that it's correct. How many aluminum do I have here? I have about 4 aluminum. How many aluminum do I have here? I have 4 aluminum. How many oxygen do I have here? 3 times 2 is what is 6. 2 times 3 is what is 6. So it's balanced. Now the good thing about this uh, algebraic method here is that no matter once, once the step are accurate and get it very well, the equation will be balanced. It will be, it will be what? Accurate. So like, like what I promised you here, I said I'm going to solve 3 questions, right? I've solved 2 then. I'll move to what the last one. So let's look at what last one in this let us say you can see that you can see that this one is very long, right? Imagine, imagine you want to balance this one, you want to use your, your special method, you can't. So that's why the algebraic method is very, very important too. So the one the first step, the first step is to, is to assign alphabet to what all the species. So it's going to be A, B, C, D, E, F. This 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 is going to be A H C L plus B K to C I go to O seven. Here we have C. Here we have C K C L. Here we have plus what? C A B C D C L two plus E C I O C I O C L three plus what? F H two O. Okay now, I want to take your step by what step? How do you want to take your step by what step? So now, this was step one. Now, the step two is to write the right equation for each of the elements. You have hydrogen, how about chlorine, how about potassium, how about chromium, C, R, and how about oxygen. So these are the what the one, two, three, four, five, five elements we have just now. So now let's start writing the equation for each of them. Let's have write the question for each of them. So, yeah, how many ideas you have here? Yeah, we have one hydrogen. So, it's going to be A. Right? What I say is A. We don't have hydrogen here. Right? We don't have hydrogen here. We don't have hydrogen. We don't have hydrogen. We don't have hydrogen. Here. So, here we go to what? Equals what? 2 what? F. Can you see that? Now, let's look at what? Chlorine. Let's look at what? Chlorine. Chlorine. We have chlorine. How many chlorine do we have here? On the, on the right hand side, we have what one chlorine, one times a is what is a, right? We don't have chlorine here, it's so going to be equal to. But we have chlorine here, we have chlorine here, and we have chlorine here. Do you see that? So, so here we have chlorine here is what is it's one. So one times c is what c plus. Now, the, now do you know, do you know the reason why it's plus because they are on the same side. Do you understand? Know, so they are what to be So going to be c plus two d plus two d. How do I get it 2D? How do I get it, get it 2D? 2 times D here. Do you understand? Plus what? Will it be 3 what? 3 E. Can you see that? 3 what? E. So we are done with what? With this chlorine here. Now let me move to what? Potassium here. Potassium, you have what? 2, two atoms here, right? So 2 times B. What? 2 B equals 2. Right here we have potassium here. How many do you have here? 1. So going to be what? You're going to be uh. C. Can you see that? Because 1 times C is what? C. Now, chromium here, here we have 2. 2 times B is what? 2B. Can you see that? 2 what? B. Right? Next is what? Move, move to the right answer here. Here we have what? Going to be what? Uh, e. E. Going to be what? E. Can you see that? Oxygen. Look at our oxygen. Here, here what? Is 7. So, going to be uh, 7 what? B. Right? Equals 2. Now, our oxygen here, here we have oxygen. Oxygen is, I mean, one. So, it's going to be F. Can you see that? That is it. So, the next is to what? The next thing is to what? Equates A to one. So, let, you can say, let A equals to what? One. Now, 
If A is equal to 1, I can even work with my F, right? Just now, I can even work with solve my F. Because my F is, is related to what A. A equals to what 2 what F, right? Equate 1 here, so 2 1 here, 1 equals to what 2 what F. So my F equals to what 1 over what 2. This is that. So now as I said again, what else can we calculate? Because we have so many unknowns to, to calculate. We have A, B, C, D, E, F. Now, I've got to work my A, I've got to work my F. What else can we calculate? Now, the next thing we can easily calculate here is what my B. Now, do you know the reason why it's B? Because B is directly related to what to F. Do you understand? So, I want to say uh, 7B equals to what uh, F. So, when you are calculating, you have to check the one you got. You can use what to calculate you get. As easy as that. Now, my F is already equal to what F. So, I'm going to be. 7b equals to 1 over 2. So when you cross multiply, here we have what 14 what b equals to what 1, right? So make it big sort of formula here we have b equals to 1 over what 14. Yes, 1, 1 over what 14. That is it. Now, after you calculate b, you now have to say again, what is can we calculate? Because we have gotten uh, a, f, and b. What else again can we easily what calculate? So you now ask yourself, okay, we look at it very well. So if have A equals to 2F, you got it from here. The, the, there's no way we, we can store this from here. It's okay. Then here we have 2B equals to C. Right there. So yeah, I can really well get, get my C. Just now, I can really work solve my C because C is directly related to what? To B. So here you have got to be what? 2B equals to what? C, right? Do you understand? Because my I know my B is only what 1 over what 14. So it's gonna be 2 times 1 over what 14, which is what C. Do you understand? Remember when you divide 2 going to 14, here we have 7. So it's gonna be 1 over what 7 equals to what C. Right? So it should make C the sort of formula here. So you have 1 over what 7 equals to what C over 1 cross multiply. Here we have 7 C equals to what 1, right? Make a C so formula here we have C equals to 1 or what 7. Can you see that? So now let, let me write it here. You so here we have A equals to 1, F equals to what 1 or 2. Here we have B equals to 1 or 14. Then C is equal to what 1 or 7. This is that. So I'm writing A, B, A, C, B, C, A, F, A, F. B, C, right? So what is next thing again? Now, yeah, I can even solve for what? For my, for my E. I can even solve for my E. is going to be the same thing with C because 2B because of C, 2B because of what E. So C and E is going to be the same. So my E is already because of what? 1 or what? 7. Do you know the reason why? Because then we have 2B equals to C. 2b equals to what c and what 2b equals to e, so they are the same. Just um, so what is the what is the game? I've not calculated. So my f, my f, I will, I will calculate, calculate my f. So a, I want to calculate a, yes, a, I calculate a. What about b? I calculate b. What about c? C. What about d? Is d I've not calculated. So how do you calculate our d? This is where we have to use this guy here. I this is where we have to use what this one here to calculate what d. Right, so it's only D that is what left, so I'll wipe this place out. So you're going to be what A equals to what C plus 2D plus 3 what E, right? Now, where's my A? My A is what is 1, right? Equals to what is my C? My C is what? 1 about 7 plus 2D, which I'm looking for, plus uh, E times. Where is my or uh, E? Where is my E? 1 about 7, right? So if I should do it here, you're going to be 1 equals to 1 about 7 plus 2D uh, plus 3 about 7. Now, the, ne the, easiest, the easiest way to do this one here is what? To multiply it by the SCM. My SCM here is what is 7. So I have to multiply it by the SCM. Do you understand? So it will be 1 times 7 equals to what? 7 times 4 by what? 7, right? Plus uh, 
7 times 2d, right? Plus 7 times 3 about 7. That's why you must know mathematics very well. So 7 equals 2. So 7 equals 7. Yeah, here we have 1 plus 14d plus 3. Can you see that? So what do you have here? So 7 equals to 1 plus 3 is what is 4, right? Plus 14d, right? So what happened here? You got to be on the case of this last year. You got to be 7 minus, minus 4 equals to what? 14 what d, right? So which is going to be what? 14d equals to what? 3, right? So what happened here? Because 7 minus 3, 7 minus 4 is what is 3. So my d is going to be what? 3 or what? 14. So then my d equals to what? 3 or what? 14. It's okay. I know that this is a little bit longer or, or like a little bit complex, but you have to what, take take it step by step. You get you, you actually what master it. There's a reason why I'm showing this one. You so start. You know that there are some equations your normal special method can't balance. I need what the algebraic words method. Although this one is a little bit far from your 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 like secondary school year, but so many students have been asking me to teach them how to work balance chemical equation. Go on TikTok um, um on my um. Uh, WhatsApp group and my YouTube channel. So, so I've seen a lot of comments on that. So, please teach us how to balance chemical equations. So, that is why I'm producing this video. So, so now what will happen here? So, now you're not going to increase the year, right? So, here it's going to be one. So, it'll be HCl plus B is what? My B is what? 1 by 14. 1 by what? 14. 1 by what? 14. K to C arrow to O seven. Just that. Next is what C is what one over what seven K C L plus D is what three over fourteen uh C L two plus E is what E is what one over seven C arrow C L three plus F is what one over two right H two O yes two. The last step is to, is to multiply by the SM. Here we have the, the, the two numbers are what 14, 7, 14, 7, 2. So the SM is going to be what 14. So multiply to by 14. Multiply to multiply to by what 14. Now why is the LCM 14? Now if you, if you check the LCM between 14, 7, 14, 7, and 2, the LCM is what is 14. So you have to multiply to by what by the LCM. So now let me apply to my remember here is one right one times forty is what is forty so yeah fourteen h c l plus forty times one over fourteen is what is what one k to c arrow to o seven right what is next here fourteen times one over seven is going to be two because fourteen times one over seven so going to fourteen is what is two so you're going to be what two two K C L. Can you see that? Plus 14 times 3 over 14. You got to be what 3. Because 14 cancel out 14, right? C L 2, right? Plus you got to be what 2 C R O C L 3 plus 14 times 4 over 2 is what is 7 H 2 O. Now the equation is got to be balanced, but let, now let's confirm. Let's confirm if the equation is what is, is dealing with balance. So let's look at what I do in here first. I do here is what is having 14. Yeah, I mean, how many ideas you have here? 7 times 2 is what is 40. So I did what is balanced. You understand? Now let me move towards chlorine. Chlorine here is what is 7 is 14, right? So here we have 2 chlorine here. 2 chlorine plus here we have 6 chlorine. Yeah, you're going to do 6 chlorine because 3 times 2 is what is 6 plus. How uh, I many chlorine here? here you, you, what do you have? Here we have. How I many chlorine do you have here? 3 times 2, which was 6. So 6 plus 6 plus 2 is what is 14, which is what is correct. Correspond to that one here. Do you understand? The next one to look at is what is uh potassium. How many potassium do you have here? Yeah, we have two. How many do you have here? Yeah, we have two. Correct. Now chromium. How many chromium do you have here? Yeah, we have two. How many do you have here? Yeah, we have what two. Correct. Oxygen, seven. How many oxygen do you have here? Yeah, we have seven. So you see? So this is how to balance chemical what equation you understand now although 
you may not actually see this thing down but because i have a lot of comments on this one here so that is the reason why i'm producing this video now the main thing you want to focus your attention in is what is stoichiometric calculation and more concept calculation do you understand these are there are type of questions you these are topics you normally see in the exam and i've done and done i've done a complete video how to cover jam chemistry syllabus in what 17 days now that video is actually going by now so please go to the go to my youtube channel you see how to cover jam chemistry in 70 days or it will be at the end screen you get so you go to day one if you go to day two go to day three videos are there wait for you to what to watch you know for you to cover the jam chemistry now the idea here is that now the goal the goal of this youtube channel can we see this so to so ensure that you score very high both mass chemistry and physics and the goal i'm giving more majority of my students to score is what is 250 to what 300 so that is what i'm actually giving them but anyone that can score above 300 will, work, will actually make sense but now that is why we are doing a lot of videos here to help you balance your mass chemistry and physics so please you are trying to get to 4,000 subscribers on our youtube channel please kindly subscribe and kindly watch share this video to your friends and tell your your friends about campus tv so that they too can also benefit and can get to our four to five thousand subscribers in the next few weeks ahead thanks for watching all this video is helpful i want to hear from you at the comment section if this video is helpful please kindly share with your friends